Hi everybody, welcome to PUBG, well, not welcome to PUBG, welcome to the Player Unknown's Battlegrounds official forum and the patch notes for the, the July 23rd PTS update, which has just dropped today. And I thought what I'd do is just leisurely read through the patch notes so we can see what we're be, um, be enjoying on the PTS over the next couple of weeks. So, without further ado, the patch notes say, hello everyone. The PTS public test server is returning today, July 22nd, July 23rd, and you'll be able to test out new content and features such as the Deagle, the BRDM2, ledge grab feature, the improved gas can, some quality of life improvements and more. The PTS will open on July the 23rd and will be available for two weeks, closing on August the 6th. The live server update will be on July the 30th. The reason for the PTS closing a week after the live server update is to test back-end server stabilizations, which will then be applied to live servers on August the 13th. As a token of our gratitude for your help in testing out these important stabilizations, we will be sending out battle point rewards to those who actively participate in the test. So, if you uh, play in the uh, public test server for more than three hours in the first week, you'll get 4,000 battle points. If you play for more than three hours in the second week, you'll get another 4,000 battle points. And if you do both, you'll get 2,000 battle points. All in all, that's 10,000 battle points. It'd be great if there's some actually some good stuff to spend them on. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, how to find the PTS. No, this obviously applies to the PlayStation and the Xbox. So the new vehicle, very exciting indeed, the BDRM2. Players feeling froggy for a fight will now have the chance to call down an armor-plated amphibious assault BRDM2 by using the flare gun. So where you used to get the armored UAS, now you'll get the BDRM2, which, as it says, can um, travel across water and uh, travel across land. It can be called in as a special care package of the flare gun on all maps, and it replaces the armored UAS. Over waterways or terrain, this amphibious vehicle increases your options to navigate firefights and the battlegrounds themselves. Characteristics. The BRDM2's total hit points is, or health points, is 2,500, and its health is twice as much as the US, while its gigantic sturdy wheels cannot be damaged. Powerful bulletproof vehicle that can reduce incoming damage such as ammunition-based assaults, as well as grenades and red zone damage. Oh! That's interesting. So if you in the red zone and it gets hit, you won't necessarily die immediately. It's an amphibious vehicle that can travel on water, um, but you can't shoot while you're on board it. It can take up to four players, and its top water speed is 22 kilometers an hour, and its top speed on the road is 102 kilometers an hour when boosted. Damage modifiers that the BDRDM2 receives differ per mode. All oh, right. In solo mode, the damage taken is increased by 80%. In duo, the damage taken is increased by 40%. So, yeah, the, the idea of this is if you get one of these, you can't just drive it around the map into the final circle and run everybody else over. New weapon, the Deagle. Bang, bang, pow. That's the sound of two shots from a Deagle breaking a level three helmet. So we've got a 45 ACP powered beast of a gun. Um, the Deagle is a handgun that deals the strongest pistol damage with great muscle velocity and will be spawned on all maps. The Deagle can deal 62 damage per shot and take both red dot and holographic sights, various magazines and a laser sight that improves hip fire accuracy. With greater than average pistol damage and muzzle velocity, it becomes harder to control recall. No suppressor. Ah. The Deagle has a single fire mode that uses 45 ACP ammo. The standard magazine fits seven rounds and it can be extended to fit ten with the extended magazine. So be interesting to I don't normally carry a handgun, but maybe we will with that one. Be great early games, won't it? Improved loot sorting. You won't get lost going through unorganized loot anymore. Loot is now organized for player crates, vicinity loot and care packages. Um, so that should be interesting to look at. It looks like you've got the same sort of stuff together as you scroll through it, so that, that's good. Auto replace weapon skin. You can automatically replace the skin on a picked up weapon with your own with a new option. You can toggle auto replace weapon skin option settings, gameplay functionalities. When toggled on, the weapon you pick up will have the skin replaced with your own weapon skin. If there is no skin to replace, the weapon skin of the picked weapon will stay as it is. That's interesting. It would have been nice if they'd had an option to go back to the default weapon skin. Because you know when you pick up somebody's gun and they've got one of those crazy, like, 
bright purple and green skins and you think oh god someone's going to see me with this from miles away if you could just say no i, I want it to go back to the standard black that would be that would be better gameplay now this is really cool um ledge grab find new ways to fight jump grab get up and go with our new ledge grab feature ledge grab allows you to take new paths by climbing on the edge of roofs fences and obstacles up to 2.5 meters high and jump from building to building or container to container now that players can move to places they weren't able to reach before we look forward to seeing gameplay with new strategies climbing to places your opponents won't be able to anticipate how to use you can activate ledge grab by either jumping or vaulting with x on the playstation or that would be was it a on the xbox and then continue to press x or by pressing x at the right timing in midair heading towards the target location you can cancel the ledge grab while it's activated and fall to the ground by following the same method of cancelling the vaulting or climbing known issue ledge grab incorrectly activates automatically after jumping Ledge grab should only work if X is held down or by pressing X at the right time when in midair. This issue will be fixed on the live update. All right, okay. A message from the dev team on ledge grab. This is the first iteration of ledge grab. You, can't, you cannot yet hang on the railings or slide down railings. However, ledge grab will be updated twice in total, including this update, and the dev team will keep working to enable those features just mentioned from the other update in the future. We anticipate a similar adoption period for ledge grab as we had for the initial introduction of vaulting. We will work to isolate any improvements or modifications that need to be made during the early stages of the feature's launch. Please try out the new ledge grab and kindly give us your feedback so that we can further improve and polish this feature, which is the utmost priority to the dev team. We will continue to make our best efforts to quickly ensure the feature is stable and, use, and as useful as possible. We very much appreciate your interest and feedback. Yeah, because I love this stuff where we can now interact with items in the environment in a much more kind of realistic way, isn't it? You know, the fact that you can jump onto roofs and um, climb up and jump across and do all this sort of Batman stuff. Well, not really Batman stuff in PUBG, is it? But, you know, it's fairly ordinary looking. Um, and it just brings the maps to life, I think. You know, they're not just boxes. These are, you know, these are buildings that you can climb up. Improved gas can. We like the cans, the cans that go boom. Features added strategic elements to the gas can, an item that can be used to be seen to have a few advantages to loot. An item that used to be seen to have few advantages to loot. As soon as the gas can explodes, it will do damage to all players in a radius around its location. When the gas can is blown up, it deals damage in a radius around it, dealing more damage to those close by. Keep in mind that you can hurt both yourself and your teammates if you stand too close to the explosion, so be careful. I think we'll see some, some trolling with the uh, gas can. How to use. Drop a gas can on the ground and damage it with bullets or throwables, which will cause it to explode and deal damage to those close by. Each gas can will now display individually in the inventory when players have more than one gas can to reduce confusion, as dropping multiple gas cans will not multiply the damage. Example, blah, blah, blah. So we now have radio message. You can't talk over a chicken dinner if you don't communicate in a match. Radio message will keep you coordinated with every teammate, no matter the region or mic situation. Playing with players from different regions or random duo squad matches or players with no access to voice chat have made it difficult to establish team-based strategy through close communication between team members. To help solve this problem, we are introducing text-based radio messages that will help you communicate with your team more quickly and easily for, strategic, for successful strategic gameplay. Press R3 to open the radio message wheel UI. There are eight types of message provided. Select provided. Selected message will, will be displayed on the left screen and immediately shown to your teammates. Pings have various interactions. Select ping near a certain item and you can share the name and location of the ping item with your teammates. Oh, that's, that's really good. So you can say there's an SKS here. You can also ping on care packages or death crates to share their location. So, all right, so that's just ping, pinging something. Ping the direction you want to move towards to share the direction with your teammates. All these features above automatically place a marker on the map and will be useful to utilize together with the tactical map marker. Enemy spotted allows you to quickly share the location of an enemy you spotted. Okay. Use enemy spotted at the enemy's location to mark it on the map and share it with your teammates. Messages vary by distance. Near 
less than 50 meters, medium range, less than 200 meters, long range, 200 meters or more. Example, enemy spotted, long range, 300 meters. Ping an enemy spotted, send message teammates within 300 meters. Oh, so they've got to be fairly close to you anyway. Need ammo, ammo works dynamic, dynamic, dynamically. God, I can't even read. This heat's getting to me. With the message reflecting the ammo type of the weapon you'll be holding. Oh, that's cool. For example, if you select need ammo while holding an M416, the message sent to your teammates will be, I need 556. You can mute radio message from teammates individually by holding a square in the team manager menu. Um, so um, square is what's square. So square will be X on the Xbox. Um, kill distance has been added to center screen kill messages. So the distance between you and the enemy you killed will be displayed alongside the standard kill message in the middle of the screen. Kill distance, distance will only be shown you kill enemies over 100 meters away. This will appear only when you kill the enemy by yourself. Down but not out, kill messages will remain the same and won't show kill distance distances and it says for example you killed nick by headshot with the m24 from 179 meters away the featured map will remain as erringel auto equip attachments improvement the auto equip scope option will no longer be visible if the auto equip attachment option is toggled off store update ps4 the store item list will be updated on july 30th when the live server maintenance begins Every item except BP crates and the Road Warrior helmet will be removed from the store. And we will get instead the Zest crate. 21 new weapon skins you can purchase using G-Coin or Battle Points. 17 outfits you can purchase using G-Coin or Battle Points. 10 summer themed items. They don't say whether you can buy them with G-Coin or Battle Points. 6 emotes you can purchase using Battle Points. A, a level 1 helmet skin you can purchase using Battle Points. Oh that's good. I do like the fact that they're keeping it as Battle Points and you don't just have to spend money. Weapon Mastery Emblem Animation. For every 10 level ups, a new tier emblem animation will be displayed to show your tier progression. New weapon, the Deagle has been added to the Mastery tab. tab. Improved the last match pop-up UI. The weapon icon displayed in the last match pop-up now varies for each player. The icons of the top three weapons with the highest score in the last match will appear in the pop-up message. The displayed weapon icons follow the weapon, weapon sorting order applied to the last match page. In-game charm, equip, unequip feature. You can now equip and unequip charms in-game. Uh, press square to apply or remove a charm. If you've not applied a charm to the weapon under the weapon mystery tab, only the remove feature will be available. This is good as well. We now have an added brightness option for each map. So if you find, for example, Vikendi too bright, you can turn it down. Or you can use it to change them all together. And then we have numerous bug fixes. So there we go. That is the uh, console, uh, Xbox and PlayStation July the 23rd PTS patch notes. Obviously download it. If you've already got PUBG, but the PTS is for free. Search for it in the store um, on the Xbox and PlayStation. If you've already bought PUBG, just go through you know, your... your uh, your library you know to the right and then it'll be there download it and you can play it and we can play these new features the only catch is that often it can be difficult getting a game on the pts especially on the playstation because not, not that many people really know what it's there for um and you tend to end up having to be playing squads on north american servers for example but there we go some really exciting features that are going to be coming to the main game you know ledge grabbing fantastic exploding gas cans fantastic better inventory you know, that's what we want. And, uh, well, the Deagle. So there we go. That's enough for me. Put your questions and comments down below. Thank you very much. And I'll see you again soon.